Hello and welcome to MUCC to Center Shot Gun Range, 2638 142nd Avenue, Door, Michigan. We've been open for a year now over here to Center Shot. Our emphasis was on building the safest, funnest, friendliest, cleanest range in West Michigan. We don't boast being better than anybody else. What we boast is we do our very best to make every person come in here and have a good time. We've got 12 lanes, 8 lanes fully programmable, and all 12 of them fully tactical. We'll help you out from the beginning to the end. Firearms for sale. They're for rent. Every time you rent them, the price goes down. You can try it before you buy it. Come on in. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you. My name is Paul Van Wagner. I'm the general manager here at Center Shot Gun Range. I'm going to show everybody here how to sight in their rifle at 25 yards. A lot of people don't know, but this is actually more efficient sighting in at 25 yards. You can do it faster, quicker, and it, uh, it actually turns out in the long run a lot better sighting in your gun. We're an inch and a half down at 100 yards at 2.2, so basically we're about an inch. We raise three inches, so at 25 yards we're going to want to be an inch above to zero on at 200. So pretty much this is basically anything no different than being outdoors. I made a graph. I got it in half inch increments. From what we're sitting at 25 yards, if we hit here, three quarters of an inch down, if we're aiming for here, we want to actually hit here, that would dial us in for actually 100 yards. Um, if we hit here, then this is actually good for 200 yards. So we want to make sure that we bring it down because the bullet's going to rise and then come back on down. Basically from this point, we're gonna, our target's out 25 yards, we're going to actually aim at the top orange dot. Our goal is to have this round hit the bottom orange dot that will dial us in at 100 yards. Here's in. So basically, I can already see this is very close to being on. Okay, as you see, we're off to the right. This is very critical when you're sighting on a gun at 25 yards. As you see, we're roughly about an inch off. Now to keep in mind, every this is at 25 yards, so every 25 yards is going to gain another inch. So basically at 100 yards, we're going to be 4 inches off. At 200 yards, we're going to end up being 8 inches off. So this is very critical, like I said. We want to get this dialed in right on the line at 25 yards. All right, so basically what we want to do is bring this over an inch. If this first shot would have ended up down here, what we do is actually vice it in right where we want to hit and bring the crosshairs all the way down by moving these, by moving the scope adjustments all the way down to this hole. That would actually bring it right back up. But being we're this close at 25 yards, instead of each click being a quarter inch per hundred, it's going to be four clicks to actually hit a quarter inch. So we want to move it roughly 12 clicks to the left.
Now this ain't bad, but we still want to adjust it just a little bit, just on uh, my standards. I want to actually knock out this black dot, so we're going to give it one more try. Roughly move it, we only got to go over roughly a quarter inch. So we're going to bring it over four more clicks. This will be basically the last time we'll have it. guys basically what we did here we broke this line I'm real happy with this group right here um, pretty much I was aiming right on here I'm um, basically this is saying that this thing is gonna be a tack driver at 100 yards at 200 we're gonna end up roughly being uh, you're gonna roughly be about three inches two and a half inches low at 200 yards so this gun here this thing's ready to go out in the field all right, so pretty much what I just demonstrated there was this can all be basically a piece of paper, a tape measure, a couple of dots, bore sighters ain't even needed. Um, once you shoot, basically like I said, if I would have hit here, all you got to do is extend where you want to shoot, have someone turn down or yourself, go ahead and turn it down, bring the clicks down and over to the hole. That will bring you right to where you want to be. So 25 yards, like I said, just check your uh, trajectory. You want to find out what the drop in the rise is with your ammo. From that point on, this is actually, like I said, probably the most accurate way to sight in your gun at 25 yards.